Hi there, welcome into Energy Upgrade Feng Shui Tips 2021. We are in the first week of June and it's it's summertime, right? It's starting to feel, it's the unofficial mark of summertime. We're coming up on uh, the change of the seasons again. So heightened energy all around us, um, bright, bright energy, that young energy, right? Everybody feel it? So you ready for summer? If you're new here, I'm Lisa Aubin. I own Cloud9 Feng Shui Consultancy, and I'm a co-founder with the Intrinsic School of Feng Shui. And if you want to learn more about me and the services that I provide and ways that we can work together to help improve your life, to help improve your energy and the energy of your surroundings, I encourage you to check out the link in the um, in my profile within the description of today's session. And if you're also new here, I want to encourage you and let you know that it's by no accident that you found me. I truly, truly believe that um, that there's a reason why you found me. This message is for you. So pull up a chair and I just lit my candle with intention to connect with you on the other side of the screen. And it's all about the power of intention. Screens, they can't hold us back. Recordings, they can't hold us back. The power of the energy and the intention is all the same. So welcome. Okay, so now that you've pulled up a chair, I encourage you to make sure that you're comfortable, that you're centered, that you feel like you can be fully involved in receiving this energy. If that means turning off the TV or turning it down lower, if that means putting in some earbuds, um, by all means, take a second to do that. Make sure that you have some water nearby and that you're fully plenished. Um, water is a conductor of energy, so if you can take some sips of water right now, that may enhance the reception of this energy that I'm sending you through this transmission of YouTube. And you know what a wonderful tool YouTube is for a way, another way for us all to connect and a way for us to share what we're learning and um, and these healing messages that many light workers are sharing all around the world and um, so very 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 cool what I'm about to share with you today is an energy upgrade back ended with some feng shui tips an energy upgrade is a, a a process really it's a method that I developed during the pandemic using the ancient modalities that I've been working with in feng shui for a long long time and some newer modalities using an energy software um, an intuitive and discernment software that I've started using that's very very powerful and is able to help amplify even further the effects of any recommendations and any shifts I can do to clear or bless energy on a big, big level. And feng shui is um, very practical. It's It can be, even though it's very ancient, it can be achieved. Uh, the effects of feng shui are not lessened when you use modern approaches. So my favorite um, approach to feng shui is a modern approach to feng shui. I practice BTB feng shui and I also practice the oldest school of feng shui which is called landform. So that's a little bit about me. I want to start talking about you. Okay. So now you've had your water, you're focused, you might have your earbuds in. I started out today's session for you consulting of the Yi Jing which is the ancient book of changes. <clears throat> And I asked to so please tell me what is the energy surrounding those wishing to receive an energy upgrade in this first week of June. And thank you. So I always talk to the Yi Jing or the Ancient Book of Changes as if it is a person I am consulting. And that is how I divine in these messages. What resulted in my coin toss, the three coins that I tossed while asking this question, resulted in a hexagram. And it's number 57 soon, penetrating influence or the gentle. And we've been talking about this energy so, so much recently, and we're still seeing it. But right now, look at it. It's an unchanging form. It's stationary. 
um, where it's very, very stable energy right now. So pay close attention. The object of your inquiry, um, so allow the object of your inquiry to influence you. All right, so approach your goals with a receptive energy rather than a um, an outward. Okay, does that make sense? Um, allow your inquiry to influence you. So start gaining more and more insight by really just sitting with your your goal. Um, if it's something you're trying to manifest, or a relationship you're trying to manifest, or a business goal, really sit. Um, you know, in meditation perhaps, um, and think about your goal. Really immerse yourself in it in um, in a willingful way, allowing the time that is needed to get to know fully this experience of achieving your goal, fully uh, comprehend, really get to know the spirit of your goal or the true essence of the community or circumstances surrounding it. So get to know, um, you know, if, you're, if your goal is to buy a house, get to know the community around the house in which you're trying to manifest. Even if you're not quite sure that house exists and you haven't seen it, it's not on the market, start immersing yourself in the community. Start to get to know the leaders in the community. Um, so that's an example, okay? because maybe it's a house and it's it's right in front of your face and it just hasn't presented on the market yet but getting to know the community getting to know the leaders in the community is the way to fully understand the spirit and therefore the the synchronicities are going to be more they're going to be clear for you you're going to have better timing and you're just going to be able to more easily walk into this house that you're trying to manifest so that's one example. Um, the power of the mind right now through concentration is enhanced. So anything that you're able to do with your mind, um, projecting with your mind, uh, using your imagination, and just really you know, immersing yourself with knowledge and um, using your mind right now is gonna be very, very powerful and helpful to you. Direct your thoughts towards your goals with everything that you do. Envision the progress along a steady, uninterrupted course. So, yes, you know, envision the end result and the goal, but start to line up the steps that lead up to that goal and really envision it. Does that make sense to you? If this makes sense to you, let me know in the comments section if it resonates. You can send me a message as well by contacting me via the link in the description or my profile. This is gonna help you recognize it, the increased synchronicities presenting to you with greater clarity. And this is all gonna be evidence of this goal um, becoming part of your actualization and actually living it. Speak and act with the sentiments of these people or the surrounding situations at all times. Really, really assimilating with your goal in a gentle, unceasing manner. So I think last time this hexagram came up, um, it was the end result of a change of a changing hexagram. And I talked about um, okay, so this penetrating influence and the gentle. So um, talk about, you know, and I think I, I, this is a, and it was either within this channel or with a client, but I was talking about offering a hand to a puppy. If you want to pet the puppy, you don't want to like put your hand out um, abruptly to the puppy because it'll scare it away or it'll bite you. But you want to be receiving of the energy and let your goal just come to you or allow it to assimilate in such a way that it, there's no other there's no other reason that this goal um, shouldn't happen. You're just going to step into it. You're going to assimilate with it. And um, that's going to re result from you really becoming one with it and in a, in a very natural, gentle way. 
And the Eugene talks about it so beautifully, and I, I'm probably, I would murder it if I don't read it, so let's see. All right, so penetrating influence. Chinese art often depicts the effects of the invisible wind as it influences the landscape. Mountains are shown eroded and sculpted into fascinating forms. Trees bend and twist into exotic shapes, clouds, and roll dramatically across the sky, bringing life given, giving rain. In contemplating the wind, the Chinese mind is inspired by the profound effect of steady, penetrating influence and how this effect might manifest itself in human affairs. Okay. So imagine just, you know, how many years it took for the wind to shape the mountains or, you know, make a great change to the landscape, but it did. It took some time and it was very gentle and probably unnoticeable at times, but eventually that wind, um, that penetrating influence shifted the landscape and changed it and shaped it. I'm not saying you're going to have to wait centuries, but have a little patience here because it's gonna happen. And the, your way of achieving your goal is going to be, okay, first be okay that it's gonna take a little bit of time and put in a little bit of effort in understanding the circumstances and the people around these goals, okay? So actually, I think it sounds kind of fun to me. Um, it's kind of like a, a secret agent, kind of in a way too, or like spending time with a tribe and getting to know them and then becoming part of the tribe. So think about it that way. It's a, it's a bit of an adventure. Now, the modern part of what I do is I am sending you energy through this message and I'm using my software. So I've sent you a few vibes that I think are pretty cool. So I harmonized your emotional energy field and it was to reduce the issue of self-sabotage. Raise your hand if you feel that sometimes you could be self-sabotaging yourself, okay? I want you to write down, love is mutual confidence. I'm gonna write it down too. Love is mutual confidence. What does this mean to you? Does it mean anything to you? Tell me in the comment box below if this means anything to you. These are the words of wisdom that are generated from your emotional aura field and um, in harmonizing the negative tendency to self-sabotage. Now, in doing that, also you were accessing uh, the ability to stand for beauty and compassion for each soul. Okay, how beautiful is that? So this energy was sent to you um, during the course of this video. And also I ran um, a few other energy sessions for you to, um, to help you with your sustenance. So you might be lacking in nutrients that has been harmonized as well. Really, really cool. And let's see what else. <clears throat> I also ran the supercharger and I sent you energy to help you through this through this first week of June, knowing um, knowing what we're up against, knowing the energy that we're facing. And I sent you with all of these beautiful energy imprints and you're receiving them if you're watching this video. It's sending you with grace and gentle attraction, awareness, clarity, manifesting powers, actualization, synchronicities, abundance, make dreams come true. And this is really cool. So these are all things that I'm sending you through this video if you're watching, you're receiving it. I also ran a Qigong panel on you, and the Qigong panel, the signals have been sent and received, and it is addressing everything to uh, harmonize all core mind energies and all that stuff that you've been working on. So I hope that you receive this in great health, and um, it's my pleasure to do that. 
Okay. Before I leave you today, I want to tell you a little bit about um, yin and yang. Okay. So as we as we talk about <clears throat> the energy we're facing this week um, and <clears throat> the Jing or the Book of Changes also teaches us that the only thing that is constant is change, okay? So whether we like it or not, things are going to change, it's going to ebb and flow. And the two energies that we study in Feng Shui and analyze constantly are yin and yang. And we see this in the seasons. We see yin and yang in the seasons as we're talking about coming up on the summer solstice. Um, right here. So we are at high at the height of yang energy and yang energy being sun, summer, light, masculine, okay, exterior, high, movement, active, heaven, heat, hard, and wakefulness. And we're going to be shifting into um, just the wee beginning of the yin energies moving you know into the fall equinox and then into winter um, later in the year so yin is all things feminine and moon and dark and interior and stillness and passive and the lesson this week and the tip that I want you to evaluate is in if you okay if you are walking into your home or your office or your workplace, I want you to stand in the doorway and the back wall of the structure is um, containing, so we're gonna divide it into three different sections, okay? The center section, if you were to apply a tic-tac-toe board to the top of your home or your office or any room that back center section that we've been looking at closely um, and I've done quite a bit of work if you can check out on my social media on Instagram you can learn more about the fame gua or the reputation gua and we were talking about this in terms of this energy because that gua or area of your home is linked to your eyes um, so that affects our clarity to some degree, but it also is tied to how your energy is perceived by the world, how you're presenting to the world. So I want you to evaluate this area, and it's, a, it's an area that's ruled by fire, so it's naturally very young, it's very strong, it's very, you know, might you might have adorned it with candles, it might be, um, there might be fire colors, flame colors, all of that but I want you to evaluate it and take a look is it too strong is it too young is there too much energy can we dial it back in a harmonious way to make it a little more yin a little more receptive a little more feminine and um, I want you to think about that in your interactions too as you're working to achieve your goal to be have that more receptive so energy if your if your goal is related to business um, it's more of rather than that masculine approach start adapting more that emotional um, feminine uh, approach to business during this time okay I have a beam of light on my head from the window <laughs> all right that's wild anyway so I um, I want you to take a look and see if there's ways that you can bring more yin energy to that area of your home or your office or workspace, workplace. And um, <clears throat> one way that we can dial back the uh, fire energy, if there's too much fire, if you see too many pointy objects or triangles or things that represent fire, and you want to dial it back a, a little without um, killing the energy, and you just want to bring it a little bit into harmony, we think about what does fire create? Well, it creates earth. So a way to dial it back a little bit would be to add in a little bit of earth. Now, earth can be represented by actual earth, can be represented by crystals, it can be represented by things of the earth, um, quartz, uh, it can be represented by skin tones or 
golden yellow is a favorite representation of mine or things that are square. And I want you to add just a little bit, maybe something with intention there um, to dial back your yang energy just a touch. Because as we're in this week, we want to really have that receptive receiving energy. And remember, we're trying to be a little covert, a little bit under the radar, just a little bit as we're assimilating with the nature of um, that which we're trying to attain. Okay, so that's my feng shui tip for this week as we looked at the energy. I'm Lisa Albin, uh, again with Cloud9 Feng Shui and the Intrinsic School of Feng Shui, and it's been a pleasure to send this energy and put it together for you. I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if this resonated with you, and make sure you connect with me in all the ways. Um, wow, that's weird. Um, in all the ways. So, you know, take a look at the link in my profile, sync up with me, um, I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love for you, if you're an entrepreneur, to check out my High Vibe Entrepreneurial Women Facebook group. Um, yes, right now it's geared towards women. Um, that seems to be a great base for me, but if you're a male and this resonates with you, I'd be interested and curious to hear from you as well. So with that being said, I can't wait to see what next week brings and, and how you surf through this week. Um, on the, your path towards your goals and your best self. I will see you next week. Many blessings times nine.